Hello people! Strange Tumblr here! Welcome back to Binding of Isaac Rebirth! It is time for another run! And we are, oh, already almost dead. Wonderful. That was a great start. Oh, gotta love these projectile vomit people! And eh, just gotta stay out of his way. Perfect, okay. And he left us a card to say hello and that he loves us. The card says, The Fool, where journey begins. Basically, that'll send us back to, well, that room that we were just in, our starting room of the floor. Uh, so that's a good way to escape unnecessarily bad situations. Uh, it can also be used to get uh, some cool little tricks in our favor and stuff. Uh, for example, we could get into like the boss trap room, grab the item, and then teleport away. Uh, basically, anytime we can teleport, it's a good thing, in my opinion. Uh, but, you know, maybe we'll pick up some better item before we uh, pick it up. It is a one time use item, obviously, uh, so it's not something that we get to recharge. What is that? Is that a brimstone baby? No brimstone! Oh my gosh, it is a little brimstone! Oh my gosh! That is awesome! Oh, that's a bomb. Guy. That worked for us. Oh, is brim oh is brim snap still a thing? I keep anytime I see brimstone I keep wanting to do a brim snap. Uh for those of you guys who don't know, brim snap was a glitch in the original uh version. Whoa, that's a eternal heart. Uh, it was a glitch that allowed uh, players to get a lot of extra damage out of their brimstone uh, by tapping the direction key repeatedly when uh, releasing the brim. So when you see the, the line there, uh, if you were to press the direction repeatedly, it would basically repeatedly launch the... Uh, the brimstone beam. I, I don't think that's... I would be surprised if that's still a glitch in the game. Oh, that kind of felt like it might be, but anyways. Ooh, mom's underwear, range up, which is horribly convenient for having a brimstone shot. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and grab this. What that'll do is it is a temporary heart, but if we make it to the next floor... You'll see that it becomes a new heart container. So that's right, we have now four heart containers, which can be a lot better than three heart containers. Whoa, oh, that wasn't smart. Okay, the orange fires do also shoot back at us, so that is something that we want to be careful of. Uh, but we will be okay. Oh, Diglett! Ow! Stop shooting me! Ow! Oh my gosh. There we go. I love having Brimstone Baby. It's weird though because it's not quite in line with my shot because it follows right behind me. Um, that looks like a jump. A Super Mario jump. How to jump. It's time we learned how. Okay, so how do we jump? Um, that, that, oh, okay. So we can jump side to side, but we can't jump over. Got it. Good to know, I guess. Get those brimstone shots going. And grab a key. We still don't have enough money to justify going into the shop, in my humble opinion. So we won't. Oh, come on. Get that brimstone shot. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, a pill. Uh, should we take it? Why not? Whoa! Hemastasize so high! I have no idea what I just read, but now there's a lot of hearts on the ground. More than what we had to begin with, so I'm gonna say that's a good thing. That would really suck if we did it in the middle of a- Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I would suck if we accidentally did that in the middle of a boss fight and went down to one health, but that's okay. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that and see what we have over here. M more for our brimstone baby. Come on. There we go. Ooh! Now I can justify going to the shop. Because we have unlimited keys for this floor only. Might as well, right? Yeah. Let's go up here, see what at least is for sale. Maybe buy a bomb? What is that? I feel like that is a... It's not a slot machine because we've played with slot machines. I know what the slot machine looks like. I'm not sure what that is. It's some sort of coin based item, I would say. Insert a coin, get something out of it. Okay, so there's two, a heart and a half. I'm tempted to go and see what is in the boss room because we have that self-sacrifice room which we can use to get our health low and then bring it back up, obviously. But I, I don't think that's anything that we're going to worry about right now. I'm trying to f come up with good uses for this jump that we have, but I, I can't come up with anything. Milk will give us more health. You know what? Let's, let's do it. There's three hearts sitting on the ground right now. We can self-sacrifice, hopefully get an item through self-sacrificing as well. One, two, three. Hey, there we go. Okay, and this gets us some bombs, some money, and some keys. So now we can go and see what is in here. Might as well. The two of spades will give us double keys. And now all we have to do is fight two bosses with only one heart of health. Hopefully I didn't just screw us over. But so far it seems good and I think the next boss that we fight is going to be Larry Jr. which is going to be really easy with Brim Baby. So worked out in our favor. Perfect. Now we can go back and grab all of these hearts. Grab one heart there. We're up to six. Was there anything over in here that we wanted to grab? We could bomb for a bomb. We could bomb for a coin, which definitely isn't worth it. Grab this heart. And we'll grab the hearts down in the boss room. And breakfast will give us one more HP. Now I'm gonna try to save the two of spades until we have a lot more keys. Cause since it's a double, whoa! I didn't mean to drop the bomb, but that worked. Since it doubles it, we might as well wait until we either have to use a key or see if we can find more keys. So that is like a Larry Jr. but with, hey, oh my gosh, more golden keys. Uh, that was like a Larry Jr. with a, another item that, or another creature that spawned every time it died. Which could be a little bit freaky. That's a troll bomb that'll chase you down. What do we got in here? Just a regular chest. Not really worth our time, I don't think. We have four bombs and unlimited keys for this floor again, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, might as well see what's in here. Ooh, a piggy bank! I wonder what a piggy bank does. Hmm. I would assume that it gives us money of some sort. Not entirely sure exactly how it would work, but can't complain too much, I guess. That was an easy room. Okay, another free item. An hourglass. Temporary enemy slowdown, two room charge. Probably better than jumping since we don't really need to use the jumping anyways. Or don't really know how to use the jumping. Ooh, a judgy. Um, I don't know what, I, I think his name is Beggar actually, but I always call him judgy because there is a card called Judgment. 
uh, that spawns one of those little dudes. I wonder... I have an idea! I have an idea. I think I may be a genius. Either that or I may be an idiot. I'm, I'm one of those two. Let's grab this jump and see if we can... Oh! Uh, come on! There we go! See if he can give us some good items. I'll take one coin at a time, but he has a possibility of spawning different items for us. And eventually, he'll get enough that he will leave and leave us an item when he leaves. But it doesn't look like we uh, gave him enough money yet, but uh, that's okay. I'm going to try placing a bomb here. See if this is a secret room. There it is. Ooh, a golden poop. Which, hopefully, will give us lots of money. Or just five coins. It's not bad. Let's bug Judgy a little bit more. Come on. Oh, so we can't jump up. We can only jump side to side. Is that true? Yeah, looks like it. Oh, portable slot machine. Which doesn't really help us since we have to j jump to get out of here. Okay. Not that I would really use that all that much anyway, so let's go ahead and fight the boss and continue on. The Duke, double Duke of Flies! Alright, well, Brimstone is going to make this a lot easier than it otherwise would be. Otherwise, we'd probably get an overflow of uh, flies here, but Brimstone can make short work of them, hopefully. I don't even know where the Duke of Flies actually... There he is. Wow, that was really easy. Okay, what is that? That kind of looks like Speedball, but a darker version. Synthol. Damage and range up. Perfect. And there was a Devil Deal. Ghost Baby? Is that what that is? I'm going to say yes. So let's go ahead and... Okay, so Spectral Tear Baby. We're just going to have a lot of babies following us today. So let's go ahead and jump back over. To no, Judgy already left. Okay. Never mind. Let's go to the next floor. Might as well. We got everything we need here. We're down to four heart containers. Because we just traded one of them off to uh, Satan there. But that's okay. We'll, we'll be good. Caves 2. Wait, we're already in Caves 2? I thought we were only in Caves 1. That's embarrassing. Oh, Brimstone is so powerful. I love it. Okay, um, wait. I can jump. 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 Come on. There we go. And jump back over. Okay, that item is actually turning out to be somewhat useful. I thought jumping would be pretty worthless, but uh, I can actually see it being helpful. I wonder if we can jump on top of things to deal damage. Gaming logic says yes. Isaac logic says no. And I am not going to jump on bomb flies to find out. I feel like that would be a bad use of a jump. We have a boss trap. What do we have here? Nothing that we have to worry about. Okay, another room that should... Oh, dang it. I was going to say not cause us any damage, but... Well, you know us. Okay, we have nine... You know what? We might as well just use that now. Get up to 18 keys. I'm pretty sure that without having to go to the chest, which uses quite a few keys. I don't think we're going to have much of an issue when it comes to keys. For this run, anyways. Okay, 15. Can I jump over these? Oh, I can. Ooh. I wonder. Ow! Can I... No, okay. No! Come on. Okay. Good job taking stupid damage for no reason. Okay, we do not have Callus this time. So there's no point taking damage to get a heart. Sometimes there is. 
uh, take a heart of damage to restore a heart uh, if we have items that uh, respond to taking damage. But with what we have right now, not really worth it. Ah, these spiders are fast! I don't know, know what to do about them. Okay, we're good. We're good. Calm down. Whoa, okay. This could be deadly. Burn over there. I'm just gonna stay over on this end so that we don't take damage. Okay, we have two random pills. And what is that? That kind of looks like Mom's Pearl, but I don't think it is. Cursed Eye. Cursed Shot Chart. Whoa! Okay, so it's a, a shot charge. Interesting. Does it go through? No. Okay, so I can do a cursed shot. Let's see, do we know what that pill is? No. Should we take a random pill? Sure. Bombs are key! Well, now we're low on keys. But we at least have lots of bombs. So that's a thing. Okay, so we have to hold down to charge. And we get Brim Charge, and we get regular Tear Charge. So, we can deal a lot of damage in one quick shot if we really want to. Let's go ahead and take out the boss, Gertie. It's probably one of the best bosses to be fighting here. So we just charge, and duck and weave. Ah, oh, dang it. I got stuck on the rock! That wasn't good. But yeah, we're just going to keep juking and jiving. Hopefully avoid the rest of his shots. Okay, I'm not holding it down quite long enough to get these brimstone shots. There we go. No devil room, I'm assuming. What is that? Latch key, luck up. I'll take it. Ooh, plus two more keys. Okay. Well, I don't think we found the shop, but I don't think we really need it. Let's go ahead and go. We'll head up the shop in the depths. Uh, depths 1, this is where we died last episode, so hopefully we can do a little bit better this one. Whoa! I'm stuck. Hello! Okay. So those... I was going to say, I don't see any enemies, but I also don't see a way out right now. And that's definitely not something that we want. Let's go ahead. Whoa, okay. Um, can we get past that? Is this... Ah! Okay, I am going to need... Well, we can jump. Ah! Okay, this is... A really crappy room. Oh, there's a free bomb sitting up there. I see. Okay. Ah, that makes a little bit more sense. I was like, there's no way past this! Well, there is if there's free bombs. Okay. So we have to worry about blood trails. And fortunately, brimstone is non-directional. So even if these things are facing us, we can do a little bit of damage. Uh, bombs are key again. Don't really need that. Let's go ahead and see what's in these cursed chests. Ooh, we could skip to the shovel. Or skip to the next level with the shovel. I think we're gonna go ahead and take Guppy's tail, uh, which means generally uh, less keys but more golden chest drops, which can be helpful for us. Go ahead and kill these up. Oh. Okay, it's brimstone versus brimstone. Brimstone wins every time. Oh crap. Okay, come on. Okay. Whew. That didn't give us very much room to dodge around, but fortunately we killed that skull turret. The problem is those skull turrets are really hard to kill sometimes. Once once they take uh, once you shoot them when they're not vulnerable it can sometimes take a while for them to actually um, 
release their shots. Okay, that is not the secret room. It must be up here? Wasn't sure if that shot had knocked it off. Okay, so that is also not a secret room. I'm going to assume that maybe here and to the left would be it. Um, can I jump over these? Ah, nope. Okay. Let's go ahead and just pay for these bombs. Okay, that was a horrible placement. Of course that's not the secret room. That'd be too convenient. Okay, self-sacrifice. What do we have in here? Oh, is that the common cold? It is poison damage to our shots now. Or at least a chance of poison damage, I assume. Can we jump over? No, nope. what if we do it right here? Come on, I know you want to jump. Okay, no, let's just go ahead and place a bomb. Should make us a bridge. And we have the High Priestess. Mother is watching. Wonderful. It's just what we wanted. Our mother to watch and be proud of us. Come on, jump down. There we go. Okay, we'll get some hearts, some bombs. And uh, let's check out the store. We might as well. Oh, no, on the previous floor we had, um... We had a greed, didn't we? Let's go ahead and take this. We might as well. Okay, and this guy is going to spawn things when he dies? Yep, there we go. So the common cold, uh, for those guys who don't know, is a chance to uh, poison an enemy when uh, damaged. Or when you damage them, I guess is the proper way of saying it. And uh, poison obviously just deals damage over time. Monster 2! The Revenge! Let's go ahead and press Q, which should stomp on him. Thank you very much, Mother's Foot. Whoa! Okay. Let's be smart about this now. There we go. Much easier. What is that? Is that a band-aid? I assume that's going to be health up of some sort. HP up. Um, but it doesn't actually provide any health. That's worthless. Okay, lump... Let's, oh, dang it, I was going to say, let's try putting a bomb there to see if that's the secret room. Um, did we put a bomb? I just want to find the secret room real quick. Did, did we try over, we did try over there. I have no idea where the secret room is. It must be over to the right. No, that wouldn't work either. It must be right here. It's not usually connected to the boss room, so I'm not surprised that it's not. Maybe up here? No, but I just killed the shopkeeper. That's awkward. Okay, well, never mind then. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the next floor. Someone's going to scream at me. Terp! The super secret room was... So, well, not super secret. The regular secret room. Regular secret room. That is a phrase you don't get to say very often. Okay, just... Sure. Oh! Oh! Okay, just avoid all of these brimstone shots. Okay, good. Okay, long room. Ow! Well, we're we're definitely not gonna get Dark Boy achievement on this run. Um, completing the floor without taking damage, or both depths without taking damage. All right, what do we got in the cursed chest? Whoa! The oh, th those are friendly spiders. Okay, never mind. Scared me for a second. I, I've never seen the friendly spiders before. It's not often you have friendly spiders. Usually it's friendly, um, friendly, uh, flies. It's weird. Mm-hmm. Exactly like that thing said as it cried. Okay, so we have to worry about these guys can jump up really high and land, and when they land, they do a 
shot in the cardinal directions. North, south, east, west. Ah! There's poop getting placed on the floor and I don't know how to handle it. Okay. Break that. Oh, this is a big... Oh, crap. Now he can escape. Now they can escape. Oh. This is like a bad version of... Um... Now one boss that splits into little pieces. Um, should we go fight mom? The thing about it is once this run it one once we kill her, I believe it'll unlock the next area and it's going to end the run once we kill her. I kinda wanna see what the next item is though. But we're doing really good for health and damage and all of that. You know what? Let's take a left here, see if we can find the item room. Or shop. Shop works. Uh that way we can at least turn in or this isn't a shop this is better than a shop oh the joker would take us where would that take us on this floor should give us items what is that it's like the opposite of a habit i don't even know let's get it ceremonial robes my sin has gone up, but look at our health now! Okay, we have the Chariot, and we have the Book of Belial. Oh my gosh, if we can't kill the boss in this situation, I have no reason to be actually, I have no business playing this game. Okay, Isaac versus Mother. Hello, Mother. So, the lovely mother and her lovely foot. And, uh, yeah. She's already at half health. A little bit poisoned. Which is fine. Nope. There we go. Okay. Just... Ah! Oh, wait. Why am I not doing this? This increases our damage by a bunch. Isaac! Oh, there's her eye. Just shoot her in the eye. Ah, whoa. Wait, did I not take damage? Why am I not taking damage? Is that because I have the ceremonial robe? That is really convenient. I thought earlier I was taking damage from her, but... Isaac was cornered. Really not. His mother, fueled with the desire to serve her god, was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. Right! Awesome! Well, we did it, guys! We defeated Mom. It only took two attempts, which I was hoping we could do it in one, but it took two. But, you know, gotta start somewhere, I guess. Next episode, we'll go on another run, see if we can make it even further down into the darkness. I won't spoil it too much for those of you guys who don't know this game, but it's gonna get even creepier than it already is. So with that, thank you as always for watching, I do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like and or subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time, but until next time, don't be a stranger, take care.